Audio sync. Hey, hey, it's LJ, and welcome to another edition of LJ Reacts. Uh, for those of you who have not come across this little YouTube channel before, this is where I do my little reaction videos. Um, I'm trying to catch up with some of the pop culture that seemed to elude me sort of in my 20s and my early 30s. So, um, yeah, I go back and I sort of listen to stuff that's happened over the past sort of 20 odd years. Um, and I give you my thoughts. That's kind of how all reaction videos work, really, isn't it? Um, of course, if you do enjoy what you see, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, because if you like it, someone else might like it. We can grow the community. Um, it'll give you inspiration to do more of these, and you'll see more of these, and yeah, everyone wins. Um, and of course, if there's something you want me to try out, chuck it in the comments below. I do have a long list, um, quite a backlog from, from last year that I'm still working through, but chuck it in there if it's, if it's something I'm not familiar with. I will give it a shot. Um... Of course, you don't have to just like, share, subscribe here on YouTube. You also have the option of the rest of the socials. Um, you can like, follow, follow. I don't even know if that's in the right order. Um, and of course, if you really like what you see, I do go out in the real world. Uh, I do stand up gigs through various other projects, all of which are linked on the link tree just there. And you're feeling generous. I know times are tough at the minute, so I'm not, I don't, I try not to push this too much, but you can chuck it, uh, you can chuck some coffee money in the tip jar there, just to keep me going, just to, uh, just to be that extra bit of inspiration that I need. So, now that's the admin out of the way, without further ado, let's, uh, let's see who we're talking about today. On the list of artists that um, you'd expect me to be a fan of, on that list is probably not Billy Joel. Um, it's kind, of, it's kind of like the Dolly Parton thing. As an artist, I understand why people love him. He's just not for me. However, he ties very much into what I am doing today, um, because as of a few days ago, as of recording this, so I think that I'm a couple of weeks behind. So this is the start of July. I'm I'm doing this. Fallout Boy has uh, done a cover of Billy Joel. Don't start. The, oh, sorry, we didn't start the fire. Um, for those not familiar, that is the Billy Joel song, which um, which kind of goes through about thirty odd years of history, uh, from like uh, the four from like. The coronation of Queen Elizabeth up till the early 80s. Um, I, I had to speed it up because there's only because there's so much in there, and um, I don't want too much dead air when I'm recording in an empty studio. But that is what. So that's what he had to, to say. Um, of course, it's been a fair while since then. So, so Fallout Boy have ta taken it upon themselves to try and condense uh, the last few decades into the same song. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, obviously, Fallout Boy, fairly big name. I've, I've seen them live a few times. Um, I even saw them. They're good. Uh, that sounds harsh, but in fairness. Since they came back off the hiatus, it's just not been the same. Um, is, is harsh? Is it harsh to say that they were better before? It's, it's certainly accurate. Um, I did see them that's over a year ago when uh, they did the postponed uh, Hello Mega Tour, uh, the co-headline with Green Day and Weezer. Um, I just remember sort of going into it thinking, yeah, if they play that Ghostbusters theme that they did, I'm rushing the stage, <laughs> which is ridiculous, because where I ended up sitting, if I'd have fucking rushed the stage, when they started playing a song, chances are, by the time I got there, 
I've been knocking out Billy Joel in the middle of ho Billy, jo Billy Joel Armstrong in the middle of holiday. Um, <laughs> but still, the the thought was there. So yeah, um, I don't know if there's really much else to say other than that. So uh, let's give this a little look, see, shall we? See, see how Pete and the boys sort of took this. Um, I didn't think about it till I said it just then, but I certainly hope it's better than the Ghostbusters. Let's see if they name who did start the fire, shall we? Okay, so quite quickly there, they've sort of already pointed out this isn't going through in in order. Um, Captain Planet followed by Deep Fakes. They're about 25 years apart, if that. Um, on the screen now, you've got Kurt Cobain followed by Pokemon, followed by Tiger Woods, followed by My yeah, Space, followed by Monsanto. Um, I think Monsanto goes around the middle there, guys. Uh, let's keep it going. That intro did sound, it wasn't just me, that did sound weird, the, the uh, distorted guitar, didn't it? I don't know, it, it seems weird having Robert Downey Jr. and Iron Man as two separate things because since 2008 they've been, you know, so ubiquitous. Um, I, I know Downey had his issues in like the late 90s, early 2000s, but is he really worth hearing on this list with, um, well, like, let's see what, what else they throw out there. Okay, I've got to ask, what, what's Spielberg got to do? Is it just he's a cultural touchstone? Is it the lack of any good films he's made in the last 20 years? To be fair, I've not seen West Side Story yet, but other than that, is there a good one he's made since Minority Report? No player one. Ready Player One isn't that great. Um, it falls down the same way Jurassic World does. It's just playing to... It's just saying, look, here's some stuff. Here's some stuff you remember. Here's some stuff you love. Um, Dearest Jurassic World did the same thing. The only positive thing that Jurassic World brought this world is uh, the Netflix cartoon. So uh, if uh, you're a Jurassic Park fan with uh, forgiveness in your heart, check that out. Um, right, let's, uh, let's keep this going. It's weird, despite being so associated with Brexit, I guess Boris Johnson does deserve his own things. Even if it's just for all what he's done in the last year, I'm not going to sort of rag too much on him because this is not a political video this is not me doing uh one of my tiktoks but seriously boris johnson um 
you, I mean, to be fair, I, mean, he, I, I do rag on him a fair bit in my stand-up. The only, the only positive thing I've, I've said about him in the last couple of years is how brilliant he is with his spin. Because um, one of his big brags about his time in office was that he has that he's that he got unemployment down to the lowest rate since um since the second world war which is an amazing way to spin the fact that under his watch uh with a global pandemic he got the highest death rate in europe um right no back on this back on this um yeah, kenya west and taylor swift is two separate well i guess they one thing but it's just uh, the way on the video here they're one after the other but i guess um for the last what 14 15 years they've kind of been associated with each other uh through hell or high water although was it all fakes um it was kim kardashian had video proof that it might have been but uh let's be honest it was shown on her reality show which um <sighs> that's a misnomer um anything on uh on the e network being a reality I was going to say, they could have just, starting off with like Columbine and, and um, yeah, starting off with, they could have just made it, made this like the controversial, but you sort of, the more you sort of look into some of those names, um, obviously LeBron James, ah, what's, what's he done that's bad other than Space Jam 2? Um, but of course, uh, he's the one who first got told by Fox News to shut up and dribble, um, which is... Uh, Whatever. Uh, I'm trying to see what else you got there. Um, and of course, Venus and Serena. Uh, Serena Williams, the most drug tested athlete of all time. Um, I'm not saying that that's race related, but uh, maybe if they'd have tested Lance Armstrong that many times, it, you know, it wouldn't have taken them so long to, to rumble him. Just going to say it now, this did not kill MTV. MTV. MTV was a suicide. YouTube didn't come along until many years later. Not an opinion, it's a fact. Um, ask any rock and roll fan. Killer got caught. Michael Jordan 45. Woodstock 99. I'm sort of looking at that. So I don't know how well you can sort of see it in the corner there, but other than between the lyrics coming up on the billboards there, they're actually flashing up headlines. And I'm just wondering if they can, what some of these headlines are, because they're coming up pretty quickly. But um, just, I'm just wondering if it applies to some of the stuff they've got or if it, um, or if it's other stuff that just didn't fit in the lyrics. Okay, I think that's pretty much. 
much it is it? Yeah. Um Well let's let's not wait around, let's let's get straight to it, shall we? So that was Fallout Boy with uh, We Didn't Start the Fire, cover of Billy Joel's. It's, do you know it's actually the least favourite of his major hits, uh, Billy Joel? So. I've got a lot of noise behind me. So that was We Didn't Start the Fire, uh, cover of Billy Joel by Fallout Boy. Um, did you know that We Didn't Start the Fire is actually um, one of his least favourite hits of his, uh, that Billy Joel's that is? So, um, he thinks it's, oh, I can't remember what, it's been so long since I've seen sort of what he said about it, but something about it just not being, just not, you know, just the lack of flow when it sounds just kind of mechanical or something. Um, that said, I, I mean, I think vocally at least there was something more smooth about the Fall Out Boy version. Um, but yeah, what, one of the things with the original is all but about two of the events are strictly in uh, in chronological order. Here, there doesn't seem to be that. There is, I mean, certain things like I mentioned, a lot of the racism scandals are all in one place. Um, yeah, I mean, some of that stuff you look at and you think. Where are we heading? Um, I'm pretty sure we're. There's got to be a logical end point soon. It, it feels like we're the season finale of a show that is just, that ran out of steam, so it's kind of just hot shotting for the last few series. It's a case of, well, that's weird because this isn't TV, this is real life. But you just sort of look at. The fact that murder hornets are a thing that everyone's forgotten about um, because there was a much bigger disaster going on at the time just sort of says how, how the one was. Um, but that is not what I was talking about. I, so yeah, like I said, they seem to have lined it up. So you've got various... Um, you've got certain things are paired with certain other things. Um, We've got a couple, or at least there are like two verses that seem to be more entertainment heavy, um, and then the rest you've got sort of more politi uh, politicised, um, which is, which, which I don't think is a bad thing, um, but it does kind of ruin the, f and I mean, out of all the TV shows to sort of start a capture planet, I mean, does anyone? younger than me even know who that is i keep seeing people being every few years everyone's like oh what they should do is actually do a re like a gritty reboot where he went away and the world fell apart it's a case of who would that be for i genuinely don't think they'd be in the audience um i actually do have an article here uh if i just bring this up So yeah, it's so I've got an article here where they talk about it, and it has a list of everything that's in Fallout Boy One. Also says the things that have been that kind of crossed over, which I mean, okay, so something like Queen Elizabeth, um, it's kind of a bookend because the original talks about her coronation. This one sort of mentions, you know, how she's not here anymore. Um, Although they say Prince and Queen die, that could just be Freddie Mercury. Um, there's talk of the Suez Canal. Um, there's apparently there was an incident in 1980, sorry, 1956, and of course there was an incident, uh, what, 18, well, just, yeah, just about two years ago now where that tanker sort of ran aground and everything got held up. Um, Lebanon and Woodstock. How is it? Every time they've tried to hold a festival in Woodstock, something has gone disastrously wrong. 
um, from the original, which uh, was oh, intentionally oversold, then underprepared for the mass overselling of tickets, followed by everything just breaking, the entire infrastructure just breaking down because it wasn't uh, planned out um, to the one in the early 90s there was issues with. The 1999 one, of course, has just come out recently on Netflix uh, about some of the horrors that happened there. And the 50 year anniversary had to be canned because it just was so unfeasible. And you sort of think, ah, that's probably a good thing. Uh, what else we've got here? Um, we've just got political assassinations. Afghanistan, because it's, that's. I mean, it, it says a lot, but in every series of Sherlock Holmes where they base Watson uh, on a military doctor. That military doctor has always been coming back from Afghanistan. Even in the original um, Arthur Conan Doyle books, Watson was um, an Afga Afghanistan veteran. It was just like how you just kind of think at one point you'd learn and then you realize they never do, do they? But, yeah. Um, and from there, they've just got a long list of all the... Oh, it did, it did surprise me. Uh, Twilight sort of came up in there, because is that even still a th really a thing? I mean, it kind of morphed, I see, well, more mutated into Fifty Shades of Grey, really, which I I guess that's slightly more relevant, but Twilight is what's um, I will, but I mean, as a song, what do I think of it? Because um, I don't mind the Billy Joel one. It's, uh, like I said, I have a lot of interest in, in world politics, uh, specifically sort of Western politics, but do try and keep half an eye on what's going on in the rest of the world because, um, you know, if, some, if something really that drastic goes wrong, then where we, where I am, the UK, kind of right between the two, right between all the superpowers. Um, I think the fallout from any of them is probably going to take me out. Um, but yeah, the, the original Billy Joel song, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I quite like it. This one, see, with a cover, you've got to find a way to make it your own. And while well, vocally, I think. Um, I can't remember the vocalist name, but Pete and the boys have got the vocals doing something different enough that it's their own thing. The fact that the backing track is, is I mean, it's different, but it's not, I don't know, I just miss the old Fall Out Boy, I guess. Um, I, I think that's all it is. I, I, I want more guitars. Um, I mean, in the frame right now, I've got two guitars, one, two, and that's not, that's ignoring the one directly behind the camera and all the ones in the rest of the house. Um, but I mean, as, as a song, it's more than passable, but not, it's above average, bang above average, it's all I can really say for it. Um, I mean, to give it a number, right now I'm going to give it five and a half. Maybe if I do a, another roundup show, I'll, I'll sort of be, I'll look back on it more favourably because I've listened to it more, uh, just between editing and just playlists in general, but no, it's, it's fine. It's not offensive. I think it's, it doesn't make me think any worse of the original so what more can you ask for um, me I can there's plenty I can ask for in fact what I'm going to ask right now is for you to like share subscribe you know how this works uh, click the click the subscribe ring the bell leave a comment is there anything you want me to, to have a look at other than that um, if you if you're happy and you've done all that, then uh, 
like, follow, subscribe, you, you know, and uh, check me out in the real life. And if you really, really, you know, if you've done all that and you really want to still want to do something that will make me think even that little bit higher of you. Uh, just, I, I don't ask too much, just. Uh, like I said, just chuck us like a, well, you know, even like a, you know, Americano skinny milk latte with, uh, four pumps of everything. Just literally just, just something from the local calf. Um, just, just let me know what, uh, you appreciate what I'm doing. And well, with that all done, that is me for now. I didn't use that as an audio sync. Can't say that word on YouTube. Can't say it. I've only had one light on this whole time. That's going to look. It's only the. I guess it's only the intro. Um, well, I guess we'll just have to see how that looks in post.